What's up everyone, it's your disgusting Kingdom Hearts Wii Blue X here, and welcome back to another video. Yes, I know, it's been a while, hasn't it? Sorry I haven't been active for a while now, I was taking a break uploading content for a little while. So, with that being said, let's respond to console fanboys once again. I haven't responded to those in a while. But the biggest one we're going to be responding today, known as Japan Hates Xbox. Yes, that's his username on Ironically. And just like the username suggests, he hates Xbox with a burning passion. But today we're going to be responding to one specific tweet he made in particular. So, let's take a read. Game Pass is for poor people and fake gamers. Please, touch some grass. Okay, by your own logic, if you have Game Pass, you're automatically a fake gamer. Talk about gatekeeping if I ever see one. If you need Game Pass to play games, you shouldn't be gaming. Oh, did you get that? Sort out your finances and focus on other priorities. Gaming isn't for you. At least not right now. <laughs> you serious? Dude, you should not be talking about finances right now. Because if you're hoping that PlayStation Plus Premium is the best option than Game Pass, then oh boy, we're gonna have words with you, and I will have to explain it later on once we're done reading this one last paragraph of his tweet. PS5 will always be there later, when you get your affairs in order. You stinky. That is not how it works. Okay. Dude, I like the PS5 and all, but when it comes to subscriptions and the finances, no. PS5 and the PlayStation Plus Premium is not a good financial choice. If anything, it's a lot more expensive than Game, Game Pass on Xbox. And let me demonstrate between these two subscriptions between the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation Plus subscriptions. So here are the prices. Take a look at the official GameStop website right here in terms of choose your plan for Game Pass. Now if we take a look at the core, which is a console version of the core membership, it only costs you $9.99 per month which is the equivalent of only 10 bucks, which is pretty decent. That includes online console multiplayer, catalog of over 25 high quality games on console, and not to mention a member deals and discount, which is pretty decent. Now let's take a look at the PC version. Not only does the PC version cost the same price and gives you deals when it comes to discounts, but you can also play up to 100 of high quality games on PC, get new games from day one, and not to mention EA Play Membership, which is pretty cool. Now for the ultimate! Game Pass subscription, which includes both the console and PC, which it will only cost you $16.99, which is almost the equivalent of $17, bucks, which is, compared to other subscriptions, it was pretty cheap. Not only that, but it gives you hundreds of high quality games on both console, PC, and cloud, not only you get new games from day one, not only you get deals and discounts, and you also get other perks from the previous memberships. But the best part about having a Game Pass subscription is, your first 14 days you only have to pay, guess what, one 
Abdallah. And therefore makes Game Pass the most budget friendly online subscription out of all the current gen consoles. Now let's take a look at the PlayStation Plus subscription prices. I'm going to use this image for the sake of this video. So Sony have increased the price since this September. Essential used to cost like $59.99 but now increases price by $20 more, which is $79.99. That's almost $80. The extra subscription used to cost like $99.99, which is the equivalent to $100. Now, Sony increased the price, skyrocketed from that to $134.99. That's almost the equate to $135 and for the premium it's worse the pricing is ridiculous it used to cost $119.99 and now Sony increases price by $40 more by $159.99 that is the equivalent to $160. What? What the fuck? $160 for a highest tier of PlayStation Plus. And this guy right here just shits on you for having Game Pass. Just let that sink in for a moment. And therefore makes PlayStation Plus Premium more expensive than Xbox Game Pass subscription compared to the other online subscriptions. Trust me, I done the math. And the moral of the lesson here, do not be shamed for having Game Pass, it just means you are smarter how to spend your money than this Xbox hater. And trust me when I say this that does not make you poor. That guy is just poor shaming you just to be a dick and try to gate gatekeeping video games in general. But yeah, I think that will be enough for today. If you enjoyed this video, if you do, give a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, follow me on social media, and hit the notification bells for my future videos. Sorry I was not as active that I was before, mainly because I was busy packing up things in case I try to move out to another house in another state, which that will took like multiple package that we need to pack up and hopefully when we're done moving I'll get myself an Xbox Series X when I finally finish moving in to a new place. So, yeah, I guess that'll be it, fam. Take care.